Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, April, April. Good golly. No, May. I don't know why. I've been trying to, you know, I've been channeling the energies and getting into the mode. For some reason, I just kept saying April today. I don't know why. Anyway, it's not April. It's May. So <laughs> this is for Thursday, May 16th, 2019. Now, just because I am mentioning a date, it does not mean that this message is just for this day. The dates that I, I'm using the dates for organizational purposes. Yes, time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. All right. So at any moment, this message that's coming through today could resonate with you. Now, with the Freud, with the slips, I guess, I guess you could call them Freudian slips that I made in saying that it was for April. For some of you, the message that comes through today may have to do with something that happened in April. Who knows? Anyway, um, just a quick announcement. We will have happy hour tonight. All right. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to get yourself on the list, please go ahead and send payment to uh, paypal.me slash divine conversations. During happy hour, single question meetings are discounted to $20. Yes. So if you would like to get on the list and get yourself a live in-person uh, discounted single question reading for $20, go ahead and send payment to my PayPal account. I do a maximum of 10 uh, readings per session, 10 individuals. So get yourself on there. Yeah. Um, also, you have the option of putting a note on or in the payment. Make sure you put your question there. That way I have it ready to go and it saves us some time. Yes. <sighs> what else? What else? What else? What else, guys? I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. So let's just get to it. April. Good golly, I did it again. May. May 16th. <laughs> I don't get it. Why am I stuck in April? That's interesting. Because I do feel like... And I don't know, you guys let me know if this is going on with you, but for some reason, I'm kind of back in some of the energies that I was in in April. Um, and I've kind of been revisiting some of the things that I was dealing with at that moment. Uh, for greater purging, I can imagine, like it was going, to, it was happening all day yesterday. And instead of allowing myself to like be upset about it or anything, I mean, I was upset. I was, I was, you know, there was a emotional turmoil, but instead of like spiraling down, I was looking at it as, okay, obviously something here still needs to be healed a little more. Okay. Well, with all that said, I don't know if any, any of you guys are going through the same thing. Please go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Um, but let's see what comes through for today for Thursday, May 16th. Okay, here we go. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, May 16th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys. So when I first started channeling the energies, I was seeing green, which makes a lot of sense because of the healing that's represented by green. Um, and now, as I've, you know, as I've gone through that and everything, I'm seeing pink, which is unconditional love. So these two are very much connected. Um, I do feel like we're going through another purgy process. Now, 
there is a full moon coming. All right. Keep that in mind. I believe it's on Saturday, the 18th, and I believe it's in Scorpio. Correct me if my wrong if I'm wrong. Um, but that could be an effect of the full moon. It really could. And it could be um, an effect of it's a recycle of whatever you may have gone through during the last full moon back in April. There it is. Okay, one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we got here. All righty. All righty, guys. Thursday, May 16th, 2019. What messages? Ah, that three of swords. Very interesting. Because that wants to come out, so there it goes. Okay. There was a pre-shuffle in which the Three of Swords showed itself. All right. Underneath the deck is the Nine of Wands. All right. So this is actually, this overall energy is a, <laughs> is a pretty clear message. Perseverance. Yes. Perseverance is the key here. Three of Swords is here, but it's in reverse. So purging, dealing with uh, heartbreaking aspects, releasing the heartbreak here. Wow. Okay. Wow, this is interesting. Um, give me a second. Let me just organize here we have with this three of swords in reverse we have the five of swords in reverse which is great the three of cups in reverse the five of cups in reverse in the page of swords in reverse okay followed by that oh goodness we have the devil the four of swords the empress and the queen of wands okay all right all right all right cool i get what's happening here so there is definitely a purging, <laughs> there's a purgy situation going on here. Um, heartbreak, loss, regret, shame, indecisiveness even. Um, wow, okay. For some of you, you may have been in an energy of kind of spying. Page of Swords. But it's in reverse here, okay. There was an energy of in which... You, you you had a situation with someone, it was heartbreaking, you were indecisive about how to move forward with the Two of Swords, okay? Um, you were caught up in loss, regret, shame, remorse, okay? Maybe even some guilt. Um, but then all of that, yeah, I want to do this. So all of that was leading you to kind of be maybe spy on this person, um, check their social media, um, kind of stalk them, see what they're doing, see what they're going through. Um, if they've moved on, if they're with somebody else, or just what's going on in their life. But that, all of that was the product, like all that spying and everything, was the product of, a, of an imbalance between body, mind, and spirit, <clears throat> okay? Um, which is the Three of Cups, what could symbolize, be symbolized by the Three of Cups. Um, union didn't come through, a union didn't happen. Maybe there was a third party situation and that could have just been, a, it could have just been friends. Um, that's kind of what I'm, I'm getting the most, um, the biggest issue in this situation, or for some of you, it was just the other people that were involved in the situation, but weren't really a part of, in, in reality, weren't really the, a part of the, of the equation between you and this person or you and this job, you and this circumstance, whatever this is representing for you, okay? But all of this is being released. So this is, this is okay, we've got a full moon purge happening. Now, with all of that said, all of this is in the past. All of this is reversed here, up here. Okay, so to me, this kind of feels like this is something you may have released a long time ago, maybe just within the last moon cycle. Um, 
regardless of when you 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 released it or maybe the last time you faced it you still felt like you had dealt with it it was kind of over not exactly true obviously because there's some elements some elements not all elements but and take it as it resonates but there are still some elements that are still being released still being healed still being purged now Moving forward, you have the Devil, Four of Swords, Empress, and the Queen of Wands, okay? So right now, you're being faced with fear about the situation. Um, there's still some sort of attachment here, but that doesn't feel, this attachment feels like it's, it doesn't feel like you're trying to stay attached to it any longer. It's like you're, you're desiring to release it, but it, it itself, is putting up a fight. This entity, you, I guess you could call it, this thought being that has been given, that has been animated by your thoughts and emotions as you have been going through the situation. It's almost as if it's trying to stay attached to you, okay? Don't let it happen. Your advice here is to take a rest Four of Swords, okay? Meditate. You see that full moon is there too, right? Meditate. Clear your mind. Work on seeing it differently, seeing the situation differently. Work on seeing it for what it truly is, okay? There really is a persevering energy that is needed here. Nine of Wands. You just have to get through it. Just keep going. Just keep swimming, okay? Then you have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. This is a reminder of who you are, okay? We're definitely talking to feminine energies here for the most part. doesn't have to be if you're, if you're more on the masculine side, but you're, you're resonating with this as well, that's okay too, okay? Um, but this is a reminder of who you are. Abundant, powerful, loving, caring, compassionate, magnetic, attractive, charismatic, likable, fun to be around. You, this, this literally is a reminder of who you are and what you are capable of, regardless of the physical circumstances. It's this devil energy right here that is trying to keep you in this up here. All of this that you've been working so hard and so diligently on releasing. So, rest, meditate, clear your mind, and work on, put your efforts not on fighting against this devil energy, this fear, this attachment. Instead, put your energy into seeing it clearly, seeing it for what it truly is, observing its actions and its influence for what it truly is, and then separating from that, removing yourself from that, not allowing that to affect you, to bother you, to scare you, to influence you. Instead, allow this energy to influence you. With the Queen of Wands, there is, there is some sort of strong conviction that some of you have. I don't know what it is, but you have every right to be in the energy that you're in right now, to be the person that you are right now, to live the life that you're living right now, regardless of what this devil energy says. This could be a, another external person to you that's trying to tell you, oh, you ain't shit, or oh, you can't do that, or, oh, that's not possible, or, oh, you're fucking crazy, whatnot, whatever. Is this the king? Hold on, hold on. That is the king. Oh, that's cool. The king of wands just wanted to show himself. Um, so that, to me, is speaking to, there are some masculines that are going through this also, okay? Um, Okay, that's cool. Anyway, um, don't allow this devil energy to tear you down. 
okay? Keep a strong barrier between you and this devil energy with this four of swords energy. Staying calm, focused, mentally balanced, as balanced as you can be at it at the at any given moment, okay? I understand for some in some situations or in some moments that's going to be a little bit difficult because maybe what you're dealing with here is a little extreme. Um but hey, you got this, okay? The power is within you. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Let's get into the clarification section here. I'm gonna start, and I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot for clarification. And I'm using this, this is the, the first deck I'm using is the Moon Child Tarot. Just Google Moon Child Tarot. It's not available on Amazon. Um, there is a company with a website that sells it themselves. So Google that if you would like to know or like to purchase this deck. I love it. It's fantastic. But then this one, Golden Universal Tarot. This one's my absolute favorite. All right. So we're going to clarify it. Get some clarity here, and I'm just going to start with the top row. So three of swords, two of swords, five of cups, page of swords, three of cups, all in reverse. One more shuffle. Alrighty, guys. Just some clarity, please, spirit, for this top row here. Just some clarity, please. <laughs> they don't want to say anything about that. They're not going to say anything other than the tower, which is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're saying we don't even want to discuss this. This is the past. It's not worth discussing because it's something that you're you're putting doing away with. There's no discussion that's really needed anymore. We've had this conversation, and there's and this this is literally all they're saying. Just boop, it just, just the tower. That's it. Just the tower. It's nothing new. It's nothing special. It's some, nothing you haven't been dealing with already. You've been dealing with this. It's really time to put this in the past. And keep in mind that when they say, or when I was saying, it's really time to put this in the past, it's not like there's say, it's not like a, a frustration type thing, like, will you just put that behind you already? No, the process has already begun. You're putting it behind you. It's happening, okay? So instead of continuing to discuss it, it's time to just, Face it and heal it. There really isn't anything to discuss anymore up here. The tower. The tower is an energy of breaking down an old structure. Um, and that can be rough. That can be difficult. It can be sudden. It can be extreme. It can be painful. It can be emotionally painful, physically painful. This is the process of releasing... The tower. The tower can represent beliefs, belief structures, thought processes, uh, beliefs about yourself, beliefs about reality, relationships, jobs, anything. It really can mean anything that doesn't serve you. Tearing it down. And the one thing that's trying, trying to stand in your way here is the devil but this is who you are queen of wands and empress okay you have the ability to attract anything you are beautiful you are powerful you are magnetic you are strong you are passionate fierce determined you know what I want to do I want to take that king out and I want to add him here because 
it just feels right. Okay, so now with that said, let's clarify this. Let's see if we can get some clarity here on this bottom row, please, spirit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow. That's it. All right, underneath you have the Ten of Wands. And what came out are the Four and the Five of Cups. The Four of Cups fell on the Four of Swords. Okay. The Four of Swords, I'm sorry, the Four of Cups is an energy of a missed opportunity, unrequited love, um, boredom. But there, here there is an energy of, like, it's almost as if something is trying to be handed to you and you are feeling unworthy. That's what I'm feeling. It's like you want to, wow. Interesting. This is a really interesting way of, of seeing this. But you want to, you, you have three cups already. You have some sort of social structure. But you're wanting more. You're wanting that last cup to complete the four, to complete the foundation, but you don't feel like you deserve it. You don't feel like you're worthy of it. You don't feel like you can have it. You feel like there are circumstances that stand in the way and all you can really do is stay in this, swimming around in this social circle that's really specific. I don't even know if it makes sense to people, but it's falling on the Four of Swords because you're needing to rest and recalibrate is what they just said, but um, change your perspective here. See things, see the truth, see things for what they truly are, okay? Know who you are. But you see now, we have the Five of Cups, where those three cups that you were so intently focused on are now spilled. But you're left with that too. Okay, so you're still going through a bit of a, 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 a mourning period. And now it's just time to release the burdens. Release yourself of these burdens. Ten of Wands. Very interesting. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to move to the uh, Oracle Guidance section. I'm, I, I kind of wish we could have gotten more, but Spirit is saying it's not necessary. You have all the information you need. Okay. I do like how we are progressing from the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands here. That's kind of cool. And to be quite honest, this kind of does feel like, with this progression from the 9 to the 10, this does kind of feel like you're releasing the last bits of burden from all of this up here. Okay. Which is good. Which is very good. You're getting closer. And this is also why the tower came back out, was on the bottom of the deck before, because um, it's sudden, it's out of nowhere, and it's really powerful. Like, I'll be honest with you, yesterday, the feelings that hit me yesterday were really just kind of out of nowhere. I was kind of like, where the hell is this coming from? And why is it coming up again? Uh, 
I'm going to close the reading with an oracle card from the Lightworker Oracle. This today. To J. Let's just see. Let's just see here. Let's see what let's see what we got here. Closing message for the collective for today. Last one. I do feel like f for some of you, whatever you're purging, whatever you're going through right now, it's setting you up for the next phase of your life. Maybe the next new love to come in with this two of cups. The king and the queen of wands here, you have counterparts. It could be that the two of you, someone that you may be looking or moving towards an alignment with could have a very similar past, um, some sort of similar burden that they're carrying, some sort of similar mindset, something like that. I don't know. Okay. Best message, please, spirit, to close out this reading for today. Thursday, May 16th. I just, I honestly, in my head, I was about to say April again. There's something from April that's coming back up for the collective or for this piece of the collective that I'm channeling for um, that has to do with this full moon cycle, this purging of the full moon, okay? And that's, that's, that's what's happening. All right, guys. All right, best message, please, spirit, to close today's reading. Best message to close today's reading, please, Spirit. Spirit doesn't really have much to s Yeah, they're saying, yeah, there really isn't much to say right now. Alrighty. What do we have? Card number 24, Initiation by Air. Oh, wow, that's cool. Almost flipped right to it. Okay. Initiation by air. You have a strong and powerful mind. The mind can be a great asset. It can bring comfort. <coughs> Excuse me. It can bring comfort, peace, and strength as you take to your, to your spiritual journey. It can also be a dark and destructive force, undermining your power, making you doubt your own heart, and keeping you trapped in fear. The mind developed without a loving spiritual practice can be a frightening weapon rather than a liberating sword. How will you choose to use your mind power? And that's literally, literally what I was saying right here with the devil and the four of swords, keeping your mind and check in check, remembering who you are and how powerful and abundant you are. Okay? I think I want to read a little bit more of this. Your mind can be become more spacious and luminous if you practice emptying it on a regular basis. The radiant mind can be a mighty warrior against fear and despair, encouraging you with thoughts of optimism. When not given a chance to empty, however, the mind becomes overwhelmed with unprocessed information. Much of it will be fear-based programming perpe perpetuated by mass media, which is invested in controlling others and manipulating them by fear. This initiation, which liberates and opens the mind, empowers advanced souls to free themselves from manipulation and control. The, har the hallmark of a dysfunctional society is that the mind is expected to dominate the inclinations of the heart rather than serve it. The mind can be trained to be a great manager, creator, and defender of what has genuine value to the heart. But the power to feel what has meaning for us, what moves us to rise above our fears and risk growth, comes from the heart, not the mind. When the mind is given the task to feel, and the heart is told to not feel, paralysis, confusion, and discomfort are experienced. 
as you enter into this initiation, you will feel the need to step back from what you have been taught and learn to question what you once held to be true. As you disengage from habitual mental patterns, you will begin to observe your thoughts rather than be swept up in them. Soon, you will begin to experience yourself as the peaceful, steady light of love that you are in truth. Will the mind go through its motions? Yes. However, there is no need to be afraid of this. One step at a time, your spirit shall guide your mind back towards peace. You will change the way you relate to your own mind, becoming more empowered. As you soften the strident, the, I'm sorry, yes, as you soften the strident action of the mind, you will see that you can use your mental gifts wisely rather than allowing them to cause you pain. Those who have strong mental energies can accomplish much in terms of communication, invention, and creativity, but they often also suffer from destructive self-talk and mental obsessions. They may even be addicted to thinking, which can wear them out and create cravings for sugar that can lead to depression and illness. Instead, it is better to regularly take time out from the mind and be in the moment, feeling energized, playful, and at peace. Your mind is a powerful creature. Tame it with persistence, compassion, kindness, and strength. Give yourself rest and an opportunity to switch off and empty your mind as regularly as you can. There is no need to judge or despair. This is an advanced initiation and one that is brought to you only when you are ready. Consider it a sign of your spiritual progress. The world will benefit from you as you learn to handle your mental energies more constructively. This oracle is indeed an omen of greater peace and happiness in your imminent future. So there you have it, guys. That was actually really perfect. That oracle card really tied everything together because it did mention basically everything that I was talking about here. Okay. So with that said, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. And... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Um, and I'll see you later this evening for happy hour, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, in Eastern Standard Time is when I will be starting here on YouTube. I will be doing a Instagram live reading right before that. So, um, stay tuned to that. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, go ahead and do so. And yeah, I love you guys and I will see you later. Mwah! Bye!